Let me explain some of the technology behind it. So first of all, in order to capture the human face, our skin is a living thing. Light penetrates through our outer layers, goes into the skin, bounces around inside, and then scatters and then comes out, picking up some of the tone of the color of your blood. And as a result, when you look at it, um, it looks alive. Of course, there's a lot of pores. Um, your eyes are the windows to the soul. And so obviously, the eyes have to look alive. In this particular case, we use a technology called ray tracing to ray trace the eyes. That's why the eye crystal looks like it's, looks like it's alive. And of course, all of the shadows are being rendered so beautifully. You see no triangles, no faceting whatsoever. Triangles have disappeared. The lighting system is so sophisticated, we can pick up the little sheen of the oil of the space. Now let's change, um, let's, I, I love the soft shadows underneath the lips. I mean, it's, it's so exquisitely rendered. Photorealistic. Okay, let's, let's, um, Lucas, walk us through some of this stuff. You, you, you do some talking here. Let me right. spare a few seconds. Sure, so yeah, um, this is Digital IRA, and uh, it's a data set from our, our friends at USC. And if you guys have been watching uh, the previous time, we've actually seen that we've shown it on a GTX Titan, the same data set. So it's pretty cool this works on, on the K1. Uh, yeah, and as Jensen said, the subsurface scattering um, in the, you know, the light going from the ears, also, you know, the light from uh, as a, the shadow lands behind his nose. You can see if you turn it off, um, you can just see that like his, uh, his skin just kind of looks like plaster or something. It doesn't, doesn't have the right effect. And so that's something that's, you know, it's quite computationally expensive and something that using Tegra K1 is possible on mobile finally. Now change the lighting environment. This isn't, this isn't just lighting, this is image-based lighting. And look how the light is coming, shining through his ears. Yeah, you get some rim lighting off the edge of his head. And let's change the lighting yet again. That's just really stunning. If he was just more attractive. <laughs> I could sit here and look at him all night. Okay, so this, this, is a, this is a phase only a mother or a computer graphics company could love. <clears throat> Ira is actually his real name. He's a very good friend, and I apologize for that funny comment. Okay, so... <clears throat> Um, so, so, but show, show us now what it's like if we didn't have all of the photoreal capabilities that our you that Tegra offers, Tegra K1 offers. Sure. So this is this is what this is what a face would look like using today's computer graphics. And notice notice uh, it, it's a convincing head. I mean, when you look at it, you go, that's a head. Um, there's no question that's human, um, but but there's no question also it's computer graphics. And this is basically OpenGL ES 3.0.